Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, coach and trailer sales on a gloomy Kentucky January afternoon. And I promise the sun does shine in Kentucky. Um, someone who follows us on YouTube actually commented the other day and said, man, does the sun ever come out there? Every one of the videos is like overcast and gloom. I promise it does. I promise. Kentucky is an awesome place to live. So as we get into the summer, you're going to see these beautiful sunsets. I'll be shooting videos in the evening. Mm, get ready. All right, here we go. 2020 Renegade Classic. This is the CRS floor plan. Five slides currently set up to sleep six people. Uh, can be converted to sleep eight people. And it is loaded, loaded, all caps, loaded with options. Um, 2020 model, 15,000 miles. It's got the D13, 500 horsepower, very reliable engine, um, 12 speed, the uh, Volvo I shift transmission with 1,850 foot pounds of torque. Um, you know, that is the same engine that uh, Prevo uh, puts in a lot of your new marathon coaches, your new Featherlight buses that are built on a Prevo chassis. A lot of them have that 500 horsepower D13. Very reliable, plenty of power with that 12 speed I shift uh, automatic transmission in it. So, five slot outs, uh, as you can see, two here on the passenger side, two on the driver's side, and then there's one in the rear, which makes the bedroom, oh my gosh, so much room when you open up that fifth slide in the back. Um, color wise, we got some black, we got some silver, kind of some faded gray, some gold. It is a looker. This one, awesome paint scheme. Love on the classics when they paint them, how they bring the paint onto the side of the slide outs. So, like that. Um, let's talk about some other specs. Michelin tires all the way around on the coach. Um, fairly new, I'm not going to say brand new, but fairly new Goodyear Endurance tires on the trailer. Uh, the trailer is a 2011, either a 10 or 11, I believe, 20-foot T&E aluminum stacker. If you don't know who T&E &E is, look them up. Uh, probably one of the highest quality trailers you can buy. Um, hands down, custom built up in Hersher, Illinois. Todd and the guys been in business, I'm going to say 30 years, maybe 40 years. But uh, so 2010, either 10 or 11, 20 foot stacker, T&E, all aluminum, air conditioning, air compressor, triple axle, as you can see there, glass doors in the back of it. Um, so the coach, 125 gallons of fuel on board, uh, 3,000 watt inverter. It's got three of the big eight, eight number 8D uh, sealed batteries on it. Um, loaded, loaded, loaded. 150 gallons of fresh water, 75, 75 on the gray and black. Um, Onan generator, it's got the 12,500 watt Onan on it with 214 hours, I believe. Um, we just serviced the whole engine on the coach, greased all the drivetrain, um, serviced the generator, so all that is fresh. You won't have to do anything. Uh, we take a lot of pride here in what we do and um, really try to, you know, if our name is on a product going down the road, we have a lot of repeat business, and there's a reason behind that. A lot of it's word of mouth, so try to stand behind what we sell and, and make sure it's right when it goes out the door. Uh, the trailer, again, glass doors in the back, 20-foot trailer. It's got a 14-foot lift in it. Uh, air conditioning, little cabinet package up in the front, list of toolbox. Um, so 14 foot lift, 131 inch, I believe, overall interior height. Um, so uh, let's see here. I'm trying to recall 80, I'm going to say 82, 80, 82 inches or so going through the back doors with them open like that. So check out our website, all the specs. I've measured this trailer 15,000 different ways to to put on there so that you can kind of get a visual or or map out where would go what in the trailer. Uh, three foot wide side door with a little aluminum entry step as you can see. Again, nice cabinets, workbench, vice, stereo, all inside. Uh, it's got even got one of the Dometic awnings 
I'm going to say the awning's probably 18 foot because the trailer's 20 and it's dang near the full length of it. Um, little uh, enclosure on the front where you can put a generator. It does not currently have a generator, but uh, we do stock them and would be more than glad to outfit one uh, on there for you. The air conditioning is also in that enclosure. Uh, back to the coach, 40,000 pound hitch. It's currently set up with a 2 and 5 sixteenths ball, but I keep the pinnel hitches. I've got the uh, receiver, like the two and a half or three inch receiver tubes in stock. Whatever you want, we've got it. We can make it happen. We got it in house, ready to go. So, um, as I mentioned earlier, full body paint, lots of storage on this side. You can see a couple compartments there behind the uh, rear axle. Uh, it's already got the outdoor cooler, outdoor entertainment, uh, Samsung TVs throughout the coach. Got the 450 Aqua Hot system, so the hydronic heating and um, hot water system in it. Again, loaded, 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 loaded up, guys. Keyless entry. There's actually four sets of keys with this coach. More sets of keys than I think any other coach we've ever sold. So um, all come with it. Um, windows are already tinted, as you can see there. So enough rambling on the outside. Let's check out the interior. Every cell comes with the complimentary Chase Motorsports intro rug. Chasecoach.com. Check us out when you have a chance. Try to keep all of our inventory up to speed on there with lots of photos and good information. All right, so heated floors, polished porcelain tile floors, um, Samsung residential fridge, little kitchenette over on this side. Check him out. All right, so we'll start up here at the cab. TV, Samsung TV and soundbar overhead, air ride seats, backup cam. The trailer's even got a backup camera on it, so it's already all wired in, ready to go. Um, over here on the driver's side, that sofa is a jackknife sofa, so it unfolds. Two people can sleep there. Um, so when I said it sleeps six to eight, you got two here. Over here on the passenger side, this is a full queen-size flex steel fold-out air mattress. So two people super comfortable on that. So you got two there. We'll spin back around here to the driver's side. You got two on the um, jackknife. There's two back in the master king-size bed. And then I can convert this dinette here to sleep two more. I've got the bracket in stock, the dream dinette bracket. We keep them in stock. It's already got the little rails, as you can see, that the table will rest on down there. So if you need to sleep eight, that is no problem. I can do it in like two hours. I can have this to where it sleeps eight. And we'll even throw in the cushion that goes there too. So uh, anyways, sleep six currently can sleep up to eight. Jackknife sofa there with a pull-out storage drawer underneath it. Kitchen area over here on the passenger side. Uh, two burner induction cooktop with the big... Um, Stainless single bowl sink. Cutting board to uh, go along with it gives you a little more counter space. With this floor plan, you are a little limited on counter space, but you do have this. And then again, you can set stuff here. Um, Any time you want to cook, you do have to have a pan that a magnet will stick with for the induction to work. Very cool, very safe for kids to be around it. Uh, up here, we got a Samsung convection microwave so you can actually bake a cake. How about that? Metal in a microwave. When it's on convection mode, it will not hurt it. Do not turn it on microwave mode and leave it in there, though. You will have a fireworks show for the entire duration of your food warming up. All right, so we said it, or I said it earlier, Samsung fridge, residential, with a pull-out freezer, nice, clean, Samsung quality. Love it. It's quiet too. That's a big deal. And the inverter. So a lot of people ask, well, well, how do you run the fridge down the road if we don't want to run the generator? It's powered by the inverter. So this has a 3000 watt inverter. It's taking 12 volt battery power and uh, turning it into 120. Uh, this coach is a mid bath. So benefits and disbenefits to a mid bath. Mid bath, there's one toilet. But mid-bath is also big. When you do a bath and a half, it does kind of make things a little smaller. So in the bathroom, very simple, 
vanity sink. And also there's sliding pocket doors. So it's not like you come in here and you're, you look around and see the living area. There's a door that slides out up here by the shower. And then there's also one that um, slides back here by the bedroom, as you can see over here. Um, so tiled shower, glass door. Again, Renegade's doing a great job of keeping all these where they're easy to clean and very watertight. Um, overhead skyline, as you can see. I know sometimes I ramble a little bit in these videos, but I'm trying to uh, give you a decent idea of what you're looking at and tell you about some of the options too. Um, so on back into the bedroom, we have the entertainment system, lots and lots of storage. Now, when I said the fifth slide outer, almost spin around, so you can see king size bed, uh, day and night shades through the whole coach. They are manual, so you just barely pull on the bottom and they spring load retract or you pull them down and lock them. Look at this. I'm going to say without a tape measure, every bit of four foot, okay? Every bit of four foot from the rear side of the bed, like towards the back of the coach, because this is a slide. Look, cedar lined cabinetry. Uh, this guy here opens up. More cedar lined with a clothes rod. Love it. If I ever build a new coach for myself, I really feel like this fifth slide is in the cards. I like it. The downside is, you know, you don't have the other bath back here, but the upside is way more room to move around, get around the bed, and uh, lots of, um, of storage too. So um, this one here does not have the washer and dryer in it, but it does have the prep. So I keep the washer and dryer kits in stock, uh, the Splendid brand. So you can take those shelves out and use it for like tall closet for storage. You can use it for storage just the way it sets or we can put the washer and dryers. You can see the electrical plug back there. And then we also have um, the plumbing's already prepped. It's ready to go. Here is the commode. Uh, it is one of the Tecma electric flush. Overhead vent. Another overhead vent in here too. So you can pull that steam out of the shower. Um, it does have the heated floor. So all that is already built in, electric heat on the floors. So I think we've pretty much covered everything. Again, it's a 2020 Renegade. It's the 45 CRS floor plan, 15,000 miles, 500 horsepower, 12 speed eye shift, uh, full body paint with a matching t and &E 20 foot stacker trailer that's wrapped. The trailer's not painted, but it is wrapped to match the coach. Um, it's currently sleep six, can sleep up to eight with a very small, very easy conversion that we can handle right here in house. Uh, multiplex system that controls the coach. You can also download the app on your phone and um, control this coach literally through Bluetooth, through an app. You can um, lay down in bed and forget that you left, I don't know, the outside lights on and literally get on your phone and boom, hit them. So Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Sales, chasecoach.com. We're on Facebook, Instagram. Um, obviously, we're on YouTube. And uh, would love to have you subscribe to our channel. We'll put our button up there on the screen so you can hit that and follow our page and our little journey in the coach and trailer business. We've, um, we've gained a lot of steam over the last few years, and we're looking forward to continuing the momentum. So I love to, uh, would love to meet you guys and, and work with you on your dream coach. Uh, we also uh, buy, we sell, and we consign. So if you have a consignment and you're looking for some help selling it, uh, give us a shout. My number, 270-556-8461. Again, it's chasecoach.com. My name is Dylan Thompson. I appreciate you watching and appreciate your support. Uh, give us some feedback on the videos. We're trying to fine-tune them and make them a little bit better each time. But Dylan Thompson, thanks again, and I uh, hope you have a great 
rest of your day. Take care.